The first man to measure the distance around the Earth, its circumference, was an ancient Greek named Eratosthenes. He accomplished this task more than 2,000 years ago. With the clues Eratosthenes had, let's see if you could have solved the problem. There was a tower in the city of Alexandria. At noon, when the sun was highest in the sky, it cast a short shadow. At noon of the same day in the distant town of Aswan, the sun shone straight down to the bottom of a very deep well. At Aswan, therefore, the sun was directly above the well. While at Alexandria, it was slightly to one side of that position. In Eratosthenes' time, trained men measured the distances between places by pacing them off. They walked for days, keeping the same stride and account of the number of steps they took. From the work of these men, Eratosthenes knew the distance from Alexandria to Aswan. In today's units, we would say about 490 miles. Next, he measured the angle of the shadow cast by the tower in Alexandria and found that it was seven and one-fifth degrees. Because the sun is so far from us, its rays are essentially parallel, and therefore, these angles are the same. Eratosthenes knew that at the center of the Earth, the angle between Alexandria and Aswan was seven and one-fifth degrees. He knew the distance on the surface of the Earth between the two places. Could he now measure the Earth's circumference? 